Hi everyone, today I'm taking a look at Maximum Carnage. This is the Super Nintendo version. It is also available on the Sega Genesis. Uh, if there is an options menu here, I sure can't find it. I went ahead and disabled the audio because I can't turn the music off. This game was released in 1994 by LJN. That's the infamous rainbow logo that uh, crapped on so many childhood dreams. They really did make a lot of really bad licensed games, going back to the NES. This is actually one of the better ones I've ever played by LJN. So you can play as Venom, but not right away. You have to get through the sort of prologue section here. This is a pretty typical scrolling beat-em-up, of which there were a great many in the 90s. I won't even go into that here because I've uh, discussed it at great length in some of my other videos. So this is done very much in the style of your Streets of Rage or Final Fight games. It does bring some new elements to the table though because you're Spider-Man and you have some interesting powers. You can use your web to uh, pull enemies towards you, kind of like Scorpion in Mortal Kombat. That's handy. You can also jump and, whoa, <laughs> yeah, you can stick onto the side of buildings, which is cool, but you can jump and use your web to swing, and if you time it just right, you can get a jump kick in. That's pretty cool. If you hold down the web button, you get sort of a shield. Uh, you have to time it just right. I've never had too much luck blocking any major damage with that, but, you know, always handy to have. And like in all of these, there are some breakable objects in the background. I really like the graphics in this game. Uh, they're very bright, very crisp and clean looking, clean lines. It almost looks cell shaded in a way, although I'm not sure if it is. I don't feel too bad spamming the web grab just because the enemies can get so cheap. I remember renting this game and not getting too far in it. They, they basically start you off with three lives and one continue. Of course, the enemies in this game are all pretty similar looking, just uh, palette swaps of each other. You've got those kind of rat-like guys with a trench coat, and then you've got the uh, super cool hipsters with the shorts and the sunglasses. Then in later levels you do encounter some new enemy types as well. While the combat in this game is pretty satisfying, it's one of those cases where you're just going to be spamming the punch button the whole time, basically, and doing jump kicks once in a while. This is our first sort of mini-boss for this level. Two kind of Girl Scout looking women. Can't tell if they're wearing berets or bike helmets. I think either would be equally ridiculous in this case. Oh yeah, you do also have the ability to uh, shoot your web out in two directions and slam two enemies together. So there are a pretty impressive array of special moves in this game. Ooh, there we go. You also have sort of a dash attack if you press forward twice and then press the attack button, he does kind of a shoulder ram. There's that.
This next section here has you climbing up the side of a building and uh, listening to your spidey sense to avoid getting hit by uh, whatever those blasts are. And the section here almost reminds me of the original Spider-Man Atari game. I don't know if it's meant as an homage or if it's just a coincidence, but kind of cool. If you don't obey the arrows, you will be sorry. <laughs> This game follows one of the big uh, story arcs of the 90s in the comic books. And um, while I've always been a Spider-Man fan, I really wasn't following the comic by that time. I kind of dropped off buying them in the 90s just because they were getting expensive and thin and full of ads. They always had cliffhanger endings to keep you buying the next one. I do appreciate comic books and the style of art, though. If someone gave me a big pile of them, I would definitely read them. I don't remember what's up with the doppelganger guy. Is he like a clone that didn't turn out right? I don't think he has, like, a human level of intelligence. Oh, this guy's kind of a cheap bastard. Got your cutscene there, done in comic book style. I'm going to play a little while longer just so you can get a look at Venom. He plays largely the same, he's just uh, bigger, slower, maybe a little more powerful. I think it's kind of like choosing, um, what's his name, Hagar in Final Fight. Not quite as quick and nimble, but maybe a little more durable. But he does have the same basic attacks, just different animations for them. Of course, like all brawler games, you fight the old bosses as regular enemies later on. At least the enemies have different names this time around. I remember in Streets of Rage, all the people that looked the same had the same name as well. Kind of an Attack of the Clones thing going on there. Ooh, I need that power up. As I think I mentioned, I find the difficulty kind of harsh in this one. Don't have too many lives, don't have too many continues, there aren't many health pickups to be had. That's kind of interesting because this is done in the style of an arcade game, but I don't think it was ever available in the arcade. Alright, I've edited out some footage that uh, looked very much like what you've already seen. Just showing you a fight with a couple of, I don't know, I think they're mini-bosses here. I don't think you can actually defeat them. I think this is just kind of to move the story along. another cutscene there. Okay, so now you can play as Venom. And I'm going to do that here, just for a minute. Yeah, largely the same attacks, but 
uh, more brutal animations. I don't know if he's really doing more damage or not. He looks like he should be. Cause he's a big guy. Those bearded thugs are just too cool for school with their backwards hats and sunglasses. Sure, they listen to a lot of indie bands until they become famous. <laughs> Don't seem able to climb up walls, interestingly. Oh man, getting mobbed by Girl Scouts here. Kind of embarrassing. They're cheap, they can block you. And they do have a tendency, <clears throat> excuse me, to kind of gang up. his shoulder around. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and cut the video off there so I don't put anyone to sleep. Again, this is Maximum Carnage, and this is the Super Nintendo version. This is probably one of the better games that LGN ever made. I think it was somewhat of a hit back when it came out. Thank you for watching.